Death doesn't have a problem in taking anybody's life. Death is completely oblivious of age. Death takes babies, adolescents, teenagers, young men and women, middle age, old age. Death doesn't care about gender. Death doesn't care about status. Death doesn't care about race. Pretty people, prosperous people, powerful people, and people with great plans, death takes all of them also. Anyone can die at any time, and everyone will die at some time. Death doesn't make appointments, and death has no contingency plans. Death claims individuals, death claims families, death claims groups, and death takes the entire nations off the face of the earth just like that. In the blink of an eye, death claims its victims while they are still in the womb. And death snatches life from others that are fully mature and sends them to their resting place in the tomb. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives, and death is just around the corner, waiting for us in the shadows, one by one. The love of this life and its glitter makes us think that we have plenty of time to plan, play, and enjoy. Most of you thought tonight that you would come and go, but you don't really know. There are people in this room right now that just last week, they went somewhere to see about someone who had died. And one of the people who had went to see about somebody who had died, died. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. And it was the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some of us will be on our way from some place that we thought would just be another place. And we said to the people when we left, I'm sorry I have to leave right now. I've got an appointment. I gotta go. I gotta be somewhere in an hour. I gotta be somewhere. I gotta see my husband. I gotta pick up my child. I gotta see my wife. I have to this, I have to that. And it never happened. Death called in between. Our preoccupation with children, wives, Husbands, homes, automobiles, business, personal ambitions, and competing for material acquisitions will allow death to arrive softly, like a thief in the night. Some of us will go to bed, and in the morning, death snuck in and snatched somebody that was inside of our homes. Or we get a phone call. Our mother, our father, our grandmother, our grandfather, our child, our friend, our neighbor, who we saw just yesterday, I spoke to, was laughing and talking. Death came that night and snatched him. Some of us sitting here may not be here next year, next month, next week, or for that matter, the next day. Each of us needs to take an inventory and evaluation of our lives while we are able to do so. Fortunate is the person that takes a moment and a deep breath to appreciate and rearrange their lives before that tragic and lonely moment arrives. Fortunate is the human being that is aware of its creator, is grateful 
is humble and striving to discipline themselves and willing to purify themselves. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, قَدْ عَفْلَهَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا A day will come to each of us that we will wish that we had listened, as the Quran says, وَلَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُ أَوْ نَحْكِيُ مَا كُنَّ فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ فَاعْتَرَفُوا بِذَنْبِهِمْ فَصُدْقًا لِأَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرِ A day will come to each of us that we will wish that we had listened and used our intelligence. We will wish that we had, had bowed down. We will wish that we had made salah. Those of us that are Muslims by name, Muslims by tongue, Muslims by culture, Muslims by food. Those of us that are Muslims and we have not prayed. We keep saying to ourselves, passing by the mosque, hearing the other, looking at the Quran, sitting on that shelf, watching our mother pray, watching our father pray, seeing somebody else pray, and telling someone else, pray for me, make dua for me. On that day, you will wish that you had made ruku. You will wish that you had made sajda. One time. You will wish, we will wish that we had read the Quran. We will wish that we had made Tawbah. The door for Tawbah was open all of our lives. It was there. All we had to do was watch, pray, and make our amends to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and correct ourselves, but we never did it. We kept saying, Inshallah, as if Inshallah is a deck of cards. As if inshallah is some kind of special currency. As if inshallah is some kind of guarantee that you're going to live tomorrow. We kept saying, inshallah. But when death comes, it is mashallah. We will wish that we had made hajj or umrah. That money you spent on your car. The money you spent on that furniture. The money you spent on this or that, you could have made Hajj or Umrah, but you didn't. You said, Inshallah, when I get 60, I'm going to make Hajj. When I get old, I'm going to make Hajj. I'm going to, I'm going to do all these sins, all these wrong things. When I get 60, I'm going to make them ask God to forgive me. This is what some people are thinking. They sell haram all their life. They live in a haram house all their life. They eat from the haram all their life. They do haram, buy and sell haram all their life. And then they think that they will take $2,000 and they will go make hajj and all everything will be squared up. Because they are foolish. We will wish that we had paid our debts. We will wish that we had reconciled our differences. How many Muslims do you have a difference with, a problem with, an issue with, an argument with, a vendetta with, a beef that you haven't reconciled? As a matter of fact, many of us, we don't even want to reconcile differences. We put water on the differences. We cultivate the difference. We want to find a reason why not to reconcile with somebody. Even if they made tower, even if they came and apologized, we still don't want to accept it because we have hardened ourselves against reconciling with that person. But we will wish that we had reconciled our differences. We will wish that we had paid zakat. You will wish that you took the time to compute your zakat and that you found somebody to pay it. You will wish that you had given away something in sadaqah. We will wish that we had gave up our bad habits. We will wish that we had not procrastinated and delayed. We will wish that day had never came. But that day will come.